talking about him tomorrow. Can we uh okay. can we do can we do Kemba next? Because I, I noticed something interesting with him tonight as oh, well. Oh yes, I would love That's to. That's what you What you got? So Kemba tonight, it, they finally got him off the ball. Yes. Did you see how often it was catch and exactly. shoot? Uh, driving in motion off the catch. It was all off the ball. He was, there were only a handful of corner, possessions after the first corner quarter. motion they do, yeah. Yeah, and it, Brad talked about that before the game. He said, we got to start making it easier for him. And it looked yeah. easy. He, he was another guy who was wide open off all those catches. He would have had another three. Uh, what was his final line on the three-pointer? You put a two-point field goal on that well, final line shoot. there. Well, because he we went five of seven, it. I think. Five yeah, seven, and it yeah. would have been it would have been six of eight if uh, Jalen Brown didn't drive into that offensive foul. Uh, Kemba hit that one off the catch. Yeah. So he say, had he had three or four say, makes off the catch. One didn't count. I did you, you put did. the two because when I built this stat line again, um, it was it's still remarkable that he couldn't hit a two point shot. Cause that's been the trend now. I forget what the final numbers are, but he's something like one of his last 24 or something from two, which is well, I was just going to say, it's so it's perfect. another reason to get him off the ball, which you can live with this. Jimmy, go ahead. It's so perfect that that's the stat that you put in there. I knew that you put this stat, those numbers. In I was saying who, who you'll ever never see that. that. You'll, you'll never see that <laughs> in like a stat line, but John had to put over five for two point. Couldn't put the fact that he had five three pointers. He had to put the fact that he went over five. I'm looking across the whole points. line. Oh, and there's turnovers too. Turnovers made it over his three point yeah, line. Right, yeah. You know, you know what's funny too? You just made it, didn't you? If you typed one more thing, it would it would have been a second line, wouldn't it? You he's just, he's oh, lying about yeah. he's lying about semi stat line. He's putting Kemba's worst stats into the graph. Yeah, twenty one points, guess, but you know, let's misses. let's do the Celtics thing and only talk about good things. It's puppy dog rainbows. No, that's not how you put it. Stat, you know, you, you know what you did. You know watch what you next did. time. Watch next time. John's gonna <laughs> put like, like seven, seven size fonts. Oh, man. Put two rows. Everybody at home, you're getting you're getting a peek at how at how the sausage is made. You're getting a peek at how <laughs> at how stories are formed and everything. Yeah. That is how, true. how how the uh, it, it could sway it could sway your opinion. You know, this is this That's is how right. I, this, this is how the media. I never saw the opinion. media. I never media, saw man. two pointers on a NBC graphic. <laughs> you should, you should just, my lower third should just say the media. <laughs> <laughs> to John's point, there is something to be said. I mean, listen, one of the one of the main strengths of Kemba is his ability to score, his ability to drive to the rim and score the basket, right? So I understand what exactly you sneaky bastard. I understand what John's getting at is you don't want to become, you don't want Kemba to turn to a player where he's just hoisting threes and, and he can't score in any other way. Now, does some of that have to do with, you know, big men in the paint, you know, clogging it for him? I don't know. I mean, when they have three big guys in the lineup to start it out, I think that probably makes it difficult for Kemba to get around uh, inside and uh, as opposed to players who are stretching it out for him. Did we see his defense, too? Again, this is the yes, stuff we talked about you. last Julian, game. Julian, what gave it away? You took my, you took my point, bud. He does so much. Uh, Joe Sway, we were saying this after one of his worst nights this season. You still saw passing. You still saw defense. You still saw all these things he did. And even on nights where he's not that efficient, again here, not the most efficient night, getting 15 to 25 points, even if it's not efficient, is important because you're right. not relying on Semi, Pritchard, all these other guys who are a little bit less reliable to oh, yeah. show up on the score. Best the team, no doubt about it. I mean, give or take. Let's 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 be honest. If this is the norm, would you would you be mad? I mean, let's let's face it. I don't think he's going to be able to knock down five three pointers every single night. But we'll say I don't know two for two for five or so people high. are going to yell about the money. That's it. Two no, for let's five. So high. So high right now. Uh, Danny scoring nineteen home. points, getting good looks, mixing them in with that second unit. And listen again, back to Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. I mean, look when they're swinging the ball and the and the ball is moving. And and Kemba, you you put him into the fold like that. He gets easy looks. It was concerning when he's missing those easy looks. He's still not converting all of his two pointers, as of course uh, John is uh, pointing out blatantly oh, here. Oh, that's right. His, it does say that right there. His zero for five, or you might as well just circle it with the with the red marker. But um, <laughs> the defense, the passing, and, and and listen, all the scoring coming from everyone. I think that's contagious. You know, it was only a matter of time. I'm thinking to myself, all right, Kemba's gonna get twenty. Everyone else is doing it, you know. Like I just think when the offense is like that, and and you know, 
So he's not chemistry. useless outside of his scoring. When the, when the chemistry is like that, it's just it, it's natural. But my only concern is when, when the Celtics look that good on offense, why do they always let up on defense a little bit? I mean, that was the only thing. There were some stretches where Toronto could have really came all the way back in, but they, uh, of yeah, course. Yeah, they, they they're so – those weird sleepwalking periods, it drives me They're crazy. They're so bad yeah. protecting the rim. They, they're well, terrible well, no. protecting the rim. They do that bad. all the time. Like, whenever they, they have stop a playing huge lead, they and stop playing. At the same yeah. time. Yeah. Right. right. Their worst stretches always coincide with the other team's best stretches. And they exactly. and that's, how you, that's how you erase, like, 12 and 14-point leads in, like, 90 seconds. It happens all the time. You know, you look yeah. like you got a team on the ropes, but to their credit, they went on that 15 4 run in the fourth and, 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 you know, stepped on their throats there. But uh, it doesn't always go that way. It's those three point shots, man. It's, it's, it's so clear that Brad's giving these guys the green light, but it's like, no, no, no. I want you guys to shoot it with confidence, though. Don't just chuck them. And I, I saw a lot of that like tonight. Marcus, shoot them like Marcus does. Yeah, like like your name is Ray Allen. That's how Semi was falling up. You have you have your your your, your confidence at an all time high, and there's no way I'm gonna miss this shot. Like that's the way I saw the confidence. I, I feel. Grant uh, almost hit another sidestep. <laughs> yeah, side I mean, stepper. listen, whether we're talking about Shemi or you know Kemba, obviously Pritchard. Man, Pritchard started, started uh, heating up in that second half. Yeah, and y- you can say we're going crazy about a. Uh, Outlier performance shooting wise, they almost broke the record. They came within four, the single game record for threes on this team. We know the role guys aren't going to explode like that every night, but you do see signs of a system at the very least that can be replicated. And even if you get an average night here from Semi Ojale, you know, something like closer to 10 points. You, you probably still would have been extremely competitive in this game and maybe you get it elsewhere. But overall, you just find interchangeable parts. And here, Javante Green had a good stretch at the start of the fourth that can work within this system. And Tatum and Brown wasn't their best scoring nights, but they are proving night in and night out that they can be elite facilitators for this offense and generate these great shots for anybody. So it doesn't matter if it's Neesmith or Semi or Pritchard or any of the role guys. Smart eventually getting these off the catch. They're all going to get fantastic shots. Now, the question we got to answer is how do you get to this? Yeah, do, do you have to make a trade? Do you have to play one of the bigs less? Because this is obviously what the team needs to play. Like, enough of this too big. It's just, it's not going to yeah, work. I We're mean, quarter way into the season. The team needs to play that way, but they also probably need a, a, a guy who's not semi ogile to be that kind of, you know, they, they, they really need a, a legit, they need legit wing depth, you know, and again, this is why it's all nice and good to get these games every once in a while out of these guys, but you need somebody you can count on on a more regular basis. And that's going to be able to break you of the pattern. Again, you know, we talk about Brad and his role here, who play this guy, play this guy. I think he's really just searching for these combos. I mean, look, look where we are here. We're on game 24 of the season and he's trying something else out, you know, to see if it works because really none of it has stuck. That's been the problem. You have the two big lineup. He gave it 10, 11 games didn't stick, um, has gone back to it a couple times. He's tried Grant, he's tried Semi, he's tried two guard, three guards. Uh, I, I think he's they're searching for it. You really need more consistency there. Uh, and you need everybody healthy at the same time. You haven't really had that either. So it's really hard. It's really hard to you know settle in on something. They, they, they need more bodies. Mm-hmm.